General Electric reportedly conducted an internal investigation to find out why a spare business jet accompanied former CEO Jeff Ameltz travels around the world. The Wall Street Journal says that GE wants to know who approved the extra plane. In a recent letter to GE's board, Ameltz said that he ended the practice in 2014. Shares of GE down about 43% so far, Maria, this year. And a lot of the board members said they didn't know about the plane either. That's incredible. Mm. All right, Cheryl, thank you. We got Bob Nardelli with us this morning, a 30 year veteran of General Electric. And, and, and Bob, it's pretty incredible <coughs> to hear actually Jeff Immelt in this article in the journal today say, I didn't know. Yeah. It's How did he not know? Yeah. You know, we've talked about this, and uh, someone that's been 30 years there, it's really heartbreaking to see what's happened to this unbelievable, you know, legacy kind of company, legendary company. And, uh, you know, you read over the weekend, they've laid off 12,000 employees. I like to think 12,000 families. And it's having a big impact on uh, a lot of people that have worked diligently for years with this company. So it's, uh, it's very unfortunate. And this is just one of many issues, you know, surrounding the cloud around GE and the, whether they've lost about 350, 400 billion in market cap wow. so far. So it's really, they're down like to 150 now. And um, it's really, it's really heartbreaking. 150 billion market value now. Now, wow, yeah, yeah. that's incredible. Yeah. They had to cut their dividend by 50 percent. Remember that? Yeah, exactly. Third time uh, in its history. And the unfortunate thing is, this goes back to leadership, right? So uh, whether it's GE or Uber or anywhere else, it starts at the top. The culture starts at the top. And yeah. when you have a leadership that's using the company for their own best interests, as opposed to trying to further the company for all stakeholders, whether it's the employees or the shareholders, things like this happen. And so that's why when you're investing. You have to really focus in on who's running the company. It's interesting. When you see a situation like this, it sort of tells you, well, if there was judgment on that, what, what else is the judgment? What, what are the poor decisions that they made? Well, his focus initially was to unjack GE. Well, he sure did do that, didn't yeah, he, yeah. at the end of the day? Yeah, and don't forget, John. You're absolutely right. And yeah. what a mistake. Unjack GE. Yeah, Jack yeah. Welch was the best thing that happened to General Electric. And Jeff Immelt was not an individual who could run a company that Jack assembled. Yeah, whether it was, a, you know, it represented the economy and Immelt was was in, uh, not capable of running it. And, and now they got to sell, you know, John Flannery said they're going to sell $20 billion of assets, which certainly puts you in a negative position at the negotiating table. It sure does.